So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. We're in Hillsboro at the Civic Center with the man who's an archaeologist who wants to take that dry stigma out of his profession. You're going to dig this. Please welcome Rick Pettigrew. Rick, thank you very much for being with us. Thank President you. and Executive Director of the Archaeological Legacy Institute, ALI. That's right. And it's in Eugene. And it's in Eugene. What, what are you trying to promote? What we're trying to promote is basically we're trying to tell the human story from an archaeological perspective. And it's a huge story. You know, where did we all come from? Why are things the way they are? How did things come to be the way they are? What process took place? Through, I mean, how long has it been since? You know, when, when were people first here? You know, what was it like back in this, this time? You know, uh, were they like us? There are all kinds of questions. Now, let's talk about Oregon just for a second here because I know it expands worldwide. But Oregon, how long, how long were people here? Uh, people have been here probably for at least 15,000 years. And we know that from hard evidence, uh, specifically at Paisley Caves in, uh, uh, in southeastern Oregon, where we have dates on human artifacts and other things that tell us that people were there by 14,300 years ago there. And we think they came down the coast probably by about 15,000 years ago. So what you're trying to create, or what you have created, excuse me, is a TV show uh, that, that deals with this and and you're the host. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, you're talking about the video news from TAC, which, right. uh, which is actually on Comcast On Demand. Uh, people can see in the, in, the, in the Portland area from Longview to Eugene. This is a monthly news magazine show that we produce every, every month in Eugene, uh, locally there. Uh, it's a news magazine, uh, about 30 minutes for each episode. Uh, we're in our third year of production right now. 25 different stations across the country? 25 different stations across the country are carrying it all the way from coast to coast. And um, you have a film festival, and I find this interesting because you say most stories that, that are fascinating n are never seen by anyone. Right. There are people making uh, productions, films, uh, all, all around the world, all the time. And we know this because of our, our film festival. Uh, but they, they rarely are seen by the public because there are so few venues for people to see them. You know, there, there are a few venues, but not enough. There's very few of these productions actually are seen by the public outside of our film festival. And you receive dozens and dozens and dozens of these films. How many do you, do you get? How many do you get to show at the festival? Well, this year we received 79 uh, films uh, from 22 countries, and we're going to screen 18 of them from eight countries because that's how much screen time we have on, at the festival. But these are super productions. Tell me a little bit more about the festival, who can come, where it is, the venue. It's in Eugene, uh, down, downtown at the Shed, uh, May 7th through the 11th, and it's open to the public, so everybody's welcome. And, and you being an archaeologist, you, you sent crews to Thailand, to Malta. Tell me about these trips. Well, we sent a videographer to Thailand uh, at the invitation of the Thailand Tourism Authority about a 10-day trip, and he came back and produced a film for us on the cultural heritage of Thailand. It was really cool. It was uh, the first program we, we put on the uh, video news show, uh, the first segment that we used there. And then um, sometime later, I took a film crew to Malta, this little island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, and this was in connection with the Malta Tourism Authority, who invited us there and we produced a show for them about the prehistoric temples of Malta, which are extremely cool. I mean, these are... These, these See, I are told you you were going to dig this They're segment. very impressive. I mean, they're a thousand years older than the Egyptian pyramids, a thousand years older than Stonehenge, and yet they're much more impressive uh, architectural features, and there's many of them on this tiny little island in the middle of the Mediterranean Will that, will that be... It it's all, already has been. It's actually available uh, on demand on our website, okay. on the Archaeology Channel. That was, I think, the uh, December 2011 edition okay. of the Video News Show. Rick Pettigrew, thank you very much. We appreciate your time on Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you for being here as well. Make it a great day, everyone.